Hello everyone. So I found this in a dumpster. It's a little black and white CCTV camera, a CVC-130R. And I thought, you know what? I have the stuff to build a little spy camera. So we can have it powered off of this battery. We can have this little battery powered transmitter. And let's just see if it works. So we have to go from B and C to our CA connection, like that. And then this. There'll be no audio, of course. Now, we turn on the TV. Let's just see, does this work? I was able to save the power connections. Oh, I need to I need to cut those. Well, I, they put the wires on backwards and they sparked. So red is black and okay. And this specifically needs center positive. So let's see. Is this camera <laughs> um, capable of? Handling reverse polarity. I highly doubt it because there's a warning label on it. Mm, nope. Okay. Oh no, I killed it. Okay, well. Oh no, I didn't. Okay. The connector is really garbage though. Okay, so that's actually pretty robust. I'm gonna have to switch over to my Mavis recording app. But, which unfortunately, when it saves the video files, it saves them with random names, so they're all out of order. I don't know. Yeah, I don't get why this app, which gives all the features, does it just refuses to save the files in sequential sequential names? That's just absolutely wild. This connector is weird. This battery is just getting to be so absurd, but it does work. Little bit of blue gaffer's tape, and we have ourselves a very nice little extemporized spy camera. What's going on? Getting no picture. Hmm. My wiring must be off of it. Okay, that makes no sense. I ended up taking it off. This thing's a little bit too uh, finicky, I think. 
I was going to be like, oh, that's, that's your spy camera, but hmm. this camera might have some issues, especially because whenever they zip tied it to the base, they did it so hard, it kind of crimped the wire. Okay, well now it's working. So it's like the internal circuit didn't boot up right. I wonder if I turn off this, turn on this. Man, the, the color is not very good on that. So it's been a few months, like four months, and unfortunately, I forgot to finish this video, and my neighbor needs this little camera, because I'm helping him build a little bit of a security camera system. And, uh, so I'm going to finish this video, I'm going to take that off, and that's kind of funny to watch myself. And, well, it'll be fun while it lasts, so I figure, let's take this, look at that, it's kind of cool to see all the old TV, uh, all the old TVs and the antique fridge and stuff. What a, such a fisheye lens, too, it's kind of interesting. I want to test out the range on this. So, let me walk in front of the camera, over here. So now I have the camera placed outside. Oh, that's so cool. That's so, so cool. Let me see if I can go further. Okay, that works pretty well. I'm going to go even further.
I guess that's about the limit, huh? There we go. That was honestly pretty cool. Well, hmm, let me see. Can I adjust the brightness? I had to adjust the brightness up just as a last ditch effort to get the, to show the whole screen, but it's pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty cool. Hard to move around on the hand. Well, that's pretty much it. I'm going to take this thing apart. That was a lot of fun. I think we'll build a better one in the future because... Guys, I, I did it again. I spent a little bit of the Patreon money. This was $12. Well, it was, 20, it was like $30, but I sent a bid for $12, an offer for $12 on eBay for this Ikigami camera. Little Viticon camera. Love these little things. Made in Japan. I mostly... Well, I thought it was worth $12 just because of this cool-ass lens. This little C-mount lens. Tamron TV zoom lens. And yep, it zooms pretty far. So I thought... What the heck? I might as well get this. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking... We can maybe upgrade the transmitting power a little bit. Maybe make the antenna better or something like that. I can take that little camera over to my neighbor's. He can use that. And then we can mess around with this Ikigami. I'll put it down here where the screen sees it. A little Viticon camera. This would be so cool. Well, I hope you guys don't think I wasted money on anything. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to charge him for that camera. As, oh, I'll charge him $12. I charge him $12. How about that? And it was $10 shipping. So I'll, I'll charge him $22 for that little camera and for me to install it. And that'd be pretty good. I've actually been making some pretty good progress on all the cameras that I keep finding. Well, ones from like the 90s and 2000s. I've actually been, I've actually been installing them for people. It's pretty cool. Mostly for real-time operations. Not so much things that are recorded, but just whenever they want to have a real time, like a doorbell view kind of thing. That's not a, that's not a very nice view of me. Well, oh, that's kind of stuck. Oh well. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya. This video has been four months in the making. <laughs>